Hi guys, a little bit of a different angle today and I hope you hear me right. The thing is, uh, I just came back from the mountains and I really wanted to film for you, but we are experiencing a tremendous thunderstorms outside. So to be very honest, I'm kind of scared to put on the whole gear and put it up because it takes so much electricity that I don't want to be like waving to the funders like hey come get me come get me so I'm only uh, working with one light and my phone uh, I very very rarely record with my phone but I really wanted to put this video out there because it's the end of June and uh, you guys need sexy <laughs> Uh, even though I might not look too sexy today because I'm wearing no makeup and, you know, the, the, the vibe is not that. Um, I'm actually very raw and natural today. But uh, I really wanted to show you my personal most complimented extra sexy fragrances that are perfect for summer evenings. For days, they might be too much, okay? But for summer evenings, trust me, trust me, they shine so well and they all kind of have that vibe. I didn't try too much and I don't really care what you think about me, but everyone turns heads. That's what I get, honestly, when I wear them. So let's start with the first one, which to me is like one of the obvious like that was the most obvious one for me to put in this list and this is sugar leather from only nomad this is an incredible fragrance do not be afraid of leather in the scent that's that's what i have to tell you do not be afraid of leather uh because this is just a very smooth uh like cashmere suede very subdued woody gourmand what you mainly get here is cinnamon caramel sugar there is some leather yes and also you get a very nice sweet resinous labdanum uh, uh yeah labdanum uh which kind of gives you also that leather effect and apart from that to even amp up that resinous feeling, you get amorous, uh, which pretty much gives you kind of an amber feeling, but more like more resinous. And for me, amorous is a little bit more citrusy than actual amber that's mainly used in perfumes. Uh, because if you guys know um, or not, amber is actually a mix of many, many different notes. So amorous is like more pure um and this first of all is an absolute beast mode it's perfect for women and men uh, because of its sweetness it does lean feminine it's incredibly sexy and i've talked about it for at least 100 years on this channel and by the way why is it here oh yes i did powder my nose i did powder my nose and that's because uh, I know my mom and she watches my videos and I know what she would say if I didn't powder my nose. I would, it would be havoc. <sighs> She's like, you know, this old school thing when on TV everyone was so powdered down. And she's always like, remember before you film, you powder your nose. So yeah, I did powder my nose. Anyways, sugar leather for me is 10 out of 10. Uh, apart from Love at First Sight, this is my favorite fragrance from the brand. And honestly, I can easily say that this is a fragrance that it is in my top 10 for life. Uh, I don't ever want to be without it. Moreover, my partner does not ever want to be without it. So uh, since I'm running quite low on it, um, I'm definitely going to need a backup. So that's the first one, sugar leather. For Only No Bad, I fortunately do have a discount code. I still work with them and I am only one of a few people uh, worldwide that uh, is an ambassador for the brand. 
And thanks to that, I can share my quote with you and you guys have a discount. So that is Sugar Leather. Absolutely phenomenal. Massive compliment getter. Uh, I told you so many stories about it, which were crazy uh, when it comes to compliments from strangers. Um, so yeah, Sugar Leather is a no-brainer if you want to get compliments. This video is all about compliments and sexiness, okay? The next one is Song for a Queen from Ross and Ross. Uh, this is newer in my collection comparing to Sugar Leather. Uh, however, this... Ooh. This is vanilla-based fragrance, okay? Let's be very straightforward with, with this one. This is vanilla-based. Uh, we've got some jasmine and bergamot heliotrope orange blossom and in the dry down we've got benzoin vanilla cashmere wood and musk and this fragrance is just phenomenal um at first i kind of got like a rosy feeling from it you know like this middle eastern princess vanilla rose kind of a vibe uh, but the more it maturated in my bottle, the more I wore it and it developed on my skin. I definitely um, decided uh, that it's way more of that jasmine orange blossom combination than any rose because there's no rose in here. Um, but at first sniff, at first glance when you wear it, uh, it kind of feel like you get some rose from here. People, which is very weird compare it to lost in the dream which is my fragrance that i created with nafatus no guys no uh, lost in the dream uh, is vanilla but it's so lactonic and it's it's not that to me lost in the dream is not that sexy this to me is more of a alien with lost in the dream <laughs> yeah uh it's like this very very beautiful creamy vanilla with cashmere wood in musk uh but there's no lactonic notes and you get that similar jasmine that you will get in alien indeed and everything is enveloped in a very very nice smooth uh oriental leaning orange blossom so it's beautiful it's truly truly beautiful and it's a monster this will give you compliments everywhere you go and it's super sexy this is an all-year-round fragrance uh, because uh, these fragrances are more towards nighttime they definitely can be worn all year round uh, but for summer nights please try song for a queen because it is absolutely phenomenal truly truly the next fragrance i have here is something that's very very old in my collection very old uh, but you know what it never failed me it never ever ever failed me and this is poison girl from dior and this has been created by francois de machy who was the uh, previous house perfumer for dior before francis courjan took over i really hope they don't ever discontinue it because it's a masterpiece to me even though people don't really it, it, this fragrance doesn't get traction and it never did and i think it's because of the name uh but trust me if you want compliments especially from men this 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 is bitter orange and lemon then you have two types of roses and also you have orange blossom just like in sorry song for a queen um but there's rose a lot of rose and then in the dry down, you have a lot of vanilla and almond, you have tonka, you have tolu balm, so it's also a little bit resinous. Definitely that dry down is Middle Easter leaning, believe it or not. Uh, and then you have heliotrope, also just like in Silk for the Queen, uh, cashmere and sandalwood. This is a very creamy vanilla almond fragrance uh, that has a heavy beautiful but a very very girly modern rose orange blossom combination this is to die for this is so sexy it truly is you have to love sweet to love it but i 
not even that mix it with like pure oud fragrance or pure oud vanilla fragrance or mix it with sugar leather guys uh i also mix this so much with venom of love which is not here and the reason is first of all i think it's sold out still second of all it's definitely more like autumn winter because of so much chocolate this one doesn't have that heavy gourmand aspect it's more for like summer date nights super sexy beautiful trail in the air and truly it is a compliment magnet like no other like all of these are crazy compliment magnets i'm not just saying that this is a list that i gathered that people are obsessed with when you wear it it really really is like that okay the next one which is also a rose i will have two more roses but they're all very different this is intense roses mask from montal if you want pure dense extra sweet intoxicating rose get roses mask or intense roses mask truly the only difference is um between the two yes this is more the intense but this is also way more oily so when you spray it on your skin you're almost like spraying yourself with um like you know body oil it's it's that dense and oily very very high concentration of perfume oil so you can either get the original which i do have like in two bottles i think i love them so much and the intense one this is a massive compliment again magnet everyone will tell you that this has been around for years on the market and you know of course half of dubai smells like that but uh i think it's very much worth it uh, and it's very much worth having in your collection uh if you love rose if you love very sweet feminine fragrances if you love sexy if you love beast mode and if you really really love your compliments if you want to be small from the atmosphere then roses mask or intense roses mask are a great way to go again intense one is way more intense yes that's true uh, but it's also more oily uh, you really don't need more longevity than the original roses mask will give you uh, so just think about it uh, if you want such high oil concentration on your skin because you know if you spray your clothes it can make some problems right but yeah that's roses mask the next fragrance that i got is for all my baccarat rouge fans and to be very honest me myself even i'm getting tired of that baccarat rouge dna even though it's one of my favorites uh it truly is i will never ever ever get rid of my baccarat rouge or any flanker or any jew that i have because i know eventually uh i will use them up or mix them so much with other fragrances that it's it's not it's not silly to have them all okay uh, but this one this one is truly for me the best of them all it's truly better than instant crash for mancera which i did consider putting in this video so think of how much this one like is better than instant crash that everybody raves about and by the way instant crash from mancera gives you so many compliments it's insane but this one it's even stronger even denser and it's so much more refined to everyone who doesn't love mancera montal dna because it is a little bit artificial get this and this is lock phoenix and this is actually the first lock fragrance that i got and here we have orange lemon spices aromatic notes woody notes amber and musk and you might think it's maybe not as sweet as you would like. Trust me, it is sweet. It is sweet. Um, the difference between this and Baccarat Rouge is that it is 
your natural the most expensive oils that you can get on the market worldwide that's the first thing uh by the way baccarat rouge is a um not technical uh it's an artificially made fragrance okay uh not that everything in the world is now artificial but you get what i'm saying um so this is kind of a mix between baccarat rouge and instant crush that's how i would describe this fragrance but this is way more refined than any of them it truly truly is straight up unisex just like instant crush um it is definitely woody uh, some people also compare it to oud for greatness from initio which i do agree with a little bit because of the slight spiciness that this one also has um probably there's some nutmeg here so yeah it's like the best of all these best sellers uh baccarat rouge baccarat rouge extrait uh instant crush from mancera and oud for great and this to me is pretty much like all in one so that's what what you're getting when you're getting phoenix so all you can expect from it is beast mode performance and compliments so that is from log the next fragrance that i have is love at first sniff i know some people absolutely adore it some are like on the fence a little bit but it's still a like i don't know one person who doesn't love it and for this i have a discount code thankfully this is from supas budapest and this is siren and this is pretty much the sexiest mango fragrance that i have ever smelled because it's not your typical pina colada tropical sweet fragrance no this is deep this is a little bit like middle eastern leaning it has a lot of frankincense it has a lot of orange blossom a lot of sandalwood it has jasmine uh, but at the same time it's definitely fruity because you have a lot of mango a lot of blackcurrant and a lot of vanilla this is beautiful this is amber frankincense uh vanilla drier sandalwood not yeah not like your super milky creamy sandalwood no this is a drier one um a little bit of jasmine and a huge beautiful blast of mango and black currant that lasts and lasts and lasts on your skin this is absolutely phenomenal and it's only like what 100 euros and with my discount code you you can get it for like 80 something so try siren when it opens it opens tangy like bergamot black currant mango tangy and as it dries down you get so much more orange blossom amber frankincense but do not worry because these fruits actually do last throughout the fragrance as you wear it they do not disappear they're still there uh they're just getting deeper and denser because of the uh note pyramid that we have here so yeah siren phenomenal mango fragrance if you want a sexy deep compliment getting mango then try siren because it is like wow all right next i have something that is extremely extremely underrated and this is so sexy and this is so beast mode and when i wear it i i actually even though it's marketed as unisex i really do not like my boyfriend wearing this because for me it's too feminine it is a sweet scent when i wear it especially in the summertime uh night out this is a show stopper a show stopper this is from spiritum paris eau de parfum sacré and this is solar soul and its number is number one and this starts with amaretto and clary sage then you have fig nectar and fig and tea and rose and then in the base you have some oud you have some tonka actually a lot of it 
incense driftwood. Driftwood will give you that nice salty, marine, beachy touch, even though it's a wood, but it drifted on the sea, basically. That's the imagination behind driftwood. Um, we have a lot of benzoin, we have loads of vanilla, we have loads of sandalwood and some musk. And this is absolutely beautiful. It truly is a solar soul. This is a heavy fragrance for summer. Uh, the fig tea rose combination here is to die for. And amaretto that's brought almost pretty much into the base of the fragrance gives it such a unique feeling. Ugh. If you haven't tried this, you absolutely have to. Um, many people do compare it to tobacco vanille, and I don't really agree with that. This is so much more. Uh, this is like, yeah, it does have some tobacco vanille facets, that vanilla, definitely. Um, but it's so much more complex. Um, it that fig and the amaretto and so much vanilla and tonka uh, and it also feels like a summer evening it feels like a summer evening but in the most sexy way possible in the most sexy way possible you're basically going on a very wild beach party with fireplaces and fire show that's what it is and a lot of drinks and a lot of nice boys that's what it is so yeah solar soul is the shit i love it all right next one it had to be here and truly it doesn't matter if you get this which is a flanker or the original they pretty much both have the same impact on people simple as that this is Byron Mula Mula Rouge Extreme. If you hear thunders, I'm very sorry. Uh, Mula Mula, the original, is basically a very tropical uh, oud caramel fragrance that's heavily compared to La Capital from Zerzhov because they even have a very similar note structure and that is caramel, strawberry, peach. Uh, and a little bit of like wood and leather in the dry down. This is similar to the original. However, this to me is more smoky and it has a lot of cherry to it. And it, it, it's just more sexual. It's just simple as that. It, this one is just more sexual. So if you want sexy compliment getter that is going to give you feelings. And it's going to give others particular feelings. Then try Mula Mula Rouge Extreme. This is very unfortunate. I do not work with um, Byron anymore. And when I tell you, use those codes until they last. Because they do not last forever. I'm not lying. It's not my marketing trick for you to rush and get something. I can lose those codes. <laughs> and I can lose them very quickly. So I do not have the code for you anymore. It's done. It's out. And no other influencer does. Because Byron doesn't work with influencers anymore, pretty much. So it's a massive shame. But uh, if you can still try it, if you do not mind spending the full price on it, then absolutely get it. This or the other. Um, there's also double caramel. But for my experience, I recommend the original Mula Mula and Rouge Extreme the most. Rouge Extreme is more smoky, it's more deep, and it has so much cherry to it. So if you like cherry and Mula Mula, then this is your perfect combo. Yeah, simple as that. Okay, uh, next I have a designer scent. This is Divine from Gautier. And this is a massive compliment magnet. As you can see, I've already used some. And every time I go out, I get loads of compliments. Uh, to be honest, especially from women. This is, sorry, this is a salty. When you look at the notes, it doesn't really give you the truth. When you look at the notes. 
This is a salty, slightly marine aquatic fragrance um, that is very sweet. Um, it's also a little bit fruity because it has watermelon and it has red berries in it. Um, it's also very tropical because it has tiara and lily, which give it that tropical floral feeling that goes like almost powdery. Um, and you also have some gourmand aspects because you have meringue here. And I'm sure there's a lot of vanilla because otherwise, I don't know anything about perfumes. I'm sure there's some vanilla here. So yeah, uh, great performance. Very, very long lasting fragrance, even though it's designer, even though, you know, many people love to say fragrances don't last, even Fragrantica um says that it's a very long lasting fragrance um this is a little bit similar to Kanzo world power it's also uh quite similar to olympia but this one is um i don't want to say it's more complex but uh, it's definitely more like floral it's more floral, fruity, aquatic. It's definitely more fruity, aquatic. When you smell it, you get like Olympia, that salty vanilla Olympia, but with a blast of watermelon with aquatic sea breeze and some red berries. That's what I get. And as it dries down, I, I start smelling some Ylang. It's amazing. I love it. Will I get the intense version that just came out i'm just reading the notes of it the bottle looks pretty much the same you know what it, it does look interesting because they changed uh the florals they changed elang to frangipani and uh, they did add sea salt and benzoin i don't know i don't know i have to try first but this is surely good enough it has my stamp of approval because i got a massive amount of compliments thanks to it when I wore it and it lasts 10 hours plus on me. So that's Divine. Amazing, amazing Gautier Divine. All right, next fragrance that I have is a cherry and it's a leather violet cherry, but please do not be afraid of this leather because I myself am not a fan of leather, but this is so sexy. And this is a man magnet, to be exact. This is a man magnet. This is Eve Goes Eden from Philly and Phil. Again, monstrous performance. Starts off with cherry and bergamot. It's leather, violet, patchouli, and birch in the dry down. Uh, the note structure doesn't feel that nice and interesting for us girlies, does it? Um, you know, for example, when you read the notes for even Venom of Love which is a cherry scent, you're more excited because you see sweet, you see vanilla, you see almonds, you see chocolate, right? It seems more feminine, girly, sweet, but don't let the notes and short note structure fool you because this is a perfect, sexy summer cherry. This for me, and I should probably shut up because I work with room 1015, but I do prefer this over um, their cherry punk. I do prefer it. Um, this is, it might change because, you know, my taste changes and I use them interchangeably. But at the moment, I use this one way more and I get so many compliments. And, you know, like, for example, when I get out of the car and I am at the mall at the parking lot, and I get out of the car and my man is not around. And there are like men standing, you know how it is. They're paying for their parking tickets. They're getting also out of the cars. I always get that. And I know it's, the, I, I know it's this. And I'm not lying to you. I know I'm a very attractive woman, but I know it's this that's grabbing the attention. Because this is so sexual, so sexy. Like this violet here if you love the violet that is in oud satin mode then you will adore this version 
the best cherry violet leather scent that I've ever encountered, the sexiest one, Compliment Beast. So that's Eve Goes Eden. The next fragrance that to me is always, always a massive compliment getter is Nucky from Penoir. Uh, I do work with the brand still. There was like a short break, but we're back at it. Uh, I will link everything I have below for you. Naki reminds me very much of um, Nocturna from Royal Crown. People compare it very much also to Kirke from Tiziana Terenzi, which I do not agree with at all. Uh, this is one of the sexiest fruity deep scents. Like it's, it's seductress in a bottle, but appropriate for summer. And all Per Noir fragrances are beasts. I actually had a very hard time choosing a perfect Per Noir for this video because they're all so sexy and they're all so long lasting. And every, each and everyone will give you compliments. But this one is actually probably the most like summery feminine. So let's go with Naki. Naki has peach, fig leaf, aldehydes and sea notes. Then it has passion fruit, almond blossom, and osmanthus. And in the base, you have some white florals, sandalwood, a lot of vanilla, and a lot of musk. Again, to me, this reminds me of Nocturna from Royal Crown, uh, which is very, very beloved by me. However, it's so expensive, I cannot justify it. I truly cannot justify it because within that price, I would have... I would have two Kajals and something else. Like, I have, would have two Kajals and, and and a sugar leather. You know what I'm saying? Like, it hurts. The price hurts. But here's a great alternative. Because the notes are kind of, kind of similar. You get, like, fruity aquatic punch. And then you get a vanilla floral sandalwood base. Nocturna has more amber. Here you have more vanilla sandalwood, but they're still comparable in my opinion, very comparable. And they're both beast modes. So I definitely suggest checking out Naki if you want to get Nocturna like me, but you're just stingy. It's amazing. It's, it's fruity, it's aquatic, but at the same time, it's deep vanilla woody scent chef's kiss chef's kiss all right fragrance that makes me always feel so happy because of the amount of compliments i get uh i don't wear it anymore that much uh just because um you know i, I simply test so much and i don't want to use it up to have to buy a full bottle because i know i would repurchase like for sure this is narciso mask noir rose and out of all Narcisa fragrances that are currently on the market, I would only suggest this one. Mask Noir, the original, is good, but nothing like to run home about. This, on the other hand, is definitely a winner. This is a winner. This will give you compliments from men and women. This is very sexy. This... Uh, intoxicates people it 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 makes people really like they want to follow you they do they really really do i remember going to so many parties and so many bars in cape town when i lived in south africa and in port elizabeth Klebecha. um i always would get so many compliments so many compliments and, you know, not many people are that into perfumes that I am uh, within circle of friends that I had there. So, this, yes, this is a plum deep rose. So, when it comes to the notes, we've got plum, pink pepper and bergamot, musk, rose, tuberose and vanilla in the dry down, which makes perfect sense. Uh, it's a fruity, peppery, dense, sexy, very, very, very sensual rose. Uh, 
for me it does lean a little bit middle eastern uh, just like poison girl these two are kind of if you what i'm trying to say if you like one you will load the other they're in the same range to me this one is just more um almond vanilla this one is more like fruity peppery musky but all in all these two are no brainers if you have them in your collection pull them out wear them in the evenings in the summer you will not regret what you did trust me okay i have only two more first one i don't want to bore you so i'm just gonna breeze through it but this is my sexiest fragrance i have i think sexy eyes from black cliff this is tonka this is fruits this is smoky hinoki wood and this is a masterpiece for sexy beasts out there i almost can't smell it because it does something to me like i i, I start shaking in my stomach like i want an intercourse <laughs> like this is crazy this is crazy uh leans feminine for sure and uh, you get beautiful is a black current here let me see sexy eyes i think it's black current that they put in here uh it's it's considered to be woody fruity aromatic yes we've we've got a lot of black currant we have a lot of pear we have juniper berries hinoki wood oak some white florals and a lot of tonka in a dry down this dry down is sweet but this dry down is also very smoky so unless you hate smoky get it like you will not regret it you will not regret it this fragrance it's not hyped it is not popular the brand as it should be definitely more popular in my opinion uh just get it truly do you you you'll be obsessed you will be like what the hell is it where was it all my life that's how i feel and no matter how many taxes I pay, no matter the cost, I will get another bottle of this baby. And this brand is from Barbados. Uh, however, Sense Angel have them. And I do have a discount code at Sense Angel now. So maybe get it now. Because I think my code either expires tonight or in a couple of days. And Sense Angel have them. So get sexy eyes there yeah that's all i can say that's all i can say uh last one the fruitiest one the brightest one but perfect for summer evenings but the evenings that are very humid very hot and you want to be a sex bomb still i come from kajal amazing amazing citrus passion fruit praline vanilla with a little bit of patchouli and a little bit of woody undertone fragrance this is a masterpiece this is their newest release beast mode fragrance like all kajals i never feel bad purchasing kajal fragrance because not only i'm getting a hundred milliliter bottle so it's a lot but also i know it's going to be a powerhouse it's going to be all over me all day i'm very 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 happy with the quality of the brand and icon is passion fruit praline citrusy dense madness it's not too sweet it still has fruity sweetness it has a lot of tanginess and it has a lot of depth in the dry down uh the praline mixed with that a little bit of patchouli and vanilla amazing amazing massive massive compliment getter i actually took it to uh, our mountain trip and i met with my uh, whole family with Canada because they came there uh, and I I was drowning in compliments so yeah very 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 happy with this okay last but not least and thankfully for this brand I do have a discount code you can use it abuse it uh, I love the brand there's not one fragrance that I do not like to be honest they're phenomenal and this fragrance is not that much talked about because it's very new 
uh, they just released uh, Smell Like a King and Pistachio Haikyuu. Uh, of course, I'm talking about Experimental Perfume Club, EPC. But this is my new favorite. This is something that nobody talks about yet. And this is something you absolutely have to get. Because this... Yeah. Uh, beige Santal. Beige Santal. This is a combination between bergamot incense, jasmine osmanthus, and sandalwood musk. So it's basically a very creamy floral uh, with a touch of citrus, and then it has a very exotic, warm, drier type of sandalwood. This is to die for. To die for. So imagine you've got this uh, osmanthus, which gives you kind of that peachy apricoty vibe. You get a very, very uh, woody base that's, you know, that sandalwood and musk here is like, wow. This is so deep. This is so sexy. And it will turn heads. It will turn heads because it is turning heads already in my personal life. So uh, I'm not skip skipping on any other from the brand because they're all very much complement magnets and they're so potent and they give you they give you life. Uh, but this is a new one. This is my personal discovery. Again, not many people even know about it because it's not even on Fragrantica. Uh, but yeah, this combination it's it's again a little bit citrusy then you have a very creamy floral blend that leans fruity and then in the base you have that gorgeous sandalwood like this to me is essential to have in your collection if you want to get complimented if you want something for nights out in the summertime of course it's going to be perfect all year round but for nights out in the summertime, you have best of everything because you have musky sandalwood that's creamy and woody and super sexy and seductive. You have feminine aspects here because of uh, jasmine and osmanthus. And you have that nice, sexy incense with citrusy bergamot. So it's, it's phenomenal. So that is it, my darlings. It's a massive mixture of old and new. They're all perfect. They're all perfect. I feel like no matter what you choose, you're going to be happy depending on your taste. Um, but they're all like compliment magnets, date night, nights out in the summer, sex bombs that will give you compliments from people no matter where you go. So that is it, my darlings. I hope you... Uh, could bear with slightly different background and me not being uh, toddlers and tiaras basically this time uh, but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it I really like being natural on the camera I really like having those very put together videos when I have like full makeup on and all that jazz all those outfits and the jewelry uh, but you know sometimes it's just not the vibe for me at, at that moment so yeah it's more relaxed but the topic is serious let me tell you that we're serious here anyways so thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one bye guys